back to Bochinat and Bochinat.com. My name is Nicole. So welcome back to another Bochinat DIY macrame tutorial. I'm super stoked to be sharing with you guys today's tutorial. It is made with two of my favorite knots, the berry knot and the rose knot. So it's been a while since I've made a pattern tutorial with the rose knot. So a while ago, I came out with a rose knot flower wreath pattern wall hanging. And if you guys missed that video, I'll link it below. But that rose knot technique was a little different in that I made a rose knot separately with a separate strand of cord and I attached it onto the wall hanging using another strand of cord using an overhand knot. This time we're going to make a rose knot with a separate strand of cord, but there's no need for that extra added strand of cord to attach it onto the wall hanging. I know it might be a little hard to understand what that might mean, but watch through the video and I'm sure you will understand once you've practiced and seen how it's done. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and let me know what other DIY macrame projects you guys want to learn by commenting below and make sure you click subscribe and turn on bell notifications so that you stay tuned for more future macrame tutorials. And with that, let's begin. Before we begin, you will need some materials and supplies. I've chosen to use 3mm cotton cord for this wall hanging as well as a 10 inch piece of driftwood. This is the piece of driftwood I will be using in today's tutorial. If you guys are interested in learning tips and tricks on how to find driftwood and how to clean them so that they're usable for macrame wall hangings, I have a tutorial on that and I'll link that in the video description below if you're interested. As for the cord, I will be using a 3mm single strand cotton cord for this piece. This is the olive green color from my rainbow cord line and this is a recycled cotton so it's very eco-friendly. This olive green color will form the base of the wall hanging but I will also be incorporating several other colors in the center of the piece. So once we get there we can talk about some of the colors that we will be using. To begin you will cut 14 strands of olive green color or whatever base color you're going to start with at 300 centimeters long each and attach each cord one by one onto the dowel using a lark's head knot. So if at any time you are unfamiliar with any of the knots that I've mentioned in this tutorial, you can always check back to my 50 knots and sentence tutorial or my Bochi Knot Macrame Knot Series playlist on the channel for step-by-step -step tutorials on each of these knots. Continue with the remaining 12 strands of 300cm long cords by attaching each of them onto the dowel using wax head knots. Once all 14 strands of cord are attached onto the dowel, we will start creating our first berry knot. With the far left four cords, we're going to take the farther left cord and the farthest right cord as working cords for three consecutive square knots to form a berry knot. Make sure to leave about a centimeter of space right above the first square knot to give it some room to tie the berry knot later. Once the three consecutive square knots are made, we're going to take the middle two anchor cords and we're going to weave the cord ends through the top middle hole right above the first square knot, pulling the two anchor cords through to the back. And then using the same working cords, we're going to finish off with one last square knot to seal the berry knot.
You have now completed your first berry knot. We're going to take the next four chords to the right and repeat the same thing. Continue all the way to the right for five more berry knots so that there's a total of seven berry knots on the top row. Now we will make a series of alternating berry knots for the second berry knot row. So in between the first two berry knots on the left side, taking two chords from each berry knot, we're going to make another berry knot in the middle. Take the next four chords to the right and make another berry knot and then continue to the right for a total of six berry knots in the second row. Now starting with the far left four chords again, we're going to make another alternating berry knot and this time we're going to make three on the left side. So make one here with the far left four chords and then two more to the right. Then we're going to go to the far right side and make three on the right side. Essentially, there will be no berry knot in the very middle in this row.
make two more berry knots to the right of this berry knot and then make three on the right side mirroring the left side. Starting on the left side again, we're going to make two alternating berry knots under the three berry knots above. So in between the left two berry knots, make an alternating berry knot. Now repeat on the right side, mirroring what you just did on the left for two alternating berry knots. What you will start to see form is a triangle or a diamond shape form in the very center. Once the two alternating berry knots above are made, we're going to make another two berry knots starting with the far left four cords. Then we're going to make one more berry knot to the right of it. Then repeat on the right side mirroring what we just did on the left. Finish off with one more berry knot underneath the two berry knots above on both sides. Lastly, finish off with one last berry knot with the far left four cords and the far right four cords. So once the berry knot design is complete, we're going to start with adding the rose knots in the center of the piece. And for this part, I'm going to use several scrap cords in different colors and different cord lengths to make different size rose knots. So the two color cords I have here are about 60 centimeters in length, folded in half. And how we're going to attach this onto the center of the macrame wall hanging is we're going to take the strand of cord and we're going to weave one cord end through so that the loop end is on the macrame wall hanging. Then we're going to take both cord ends and wrap it around two fingers several times until you've reached the end. Then you're going to pull the cord ends through the center to form the rose knot. Then slide up the rose knot up to meet the top of the pattern. And this is how you attach a rose knot using a separate strand of cord onto a macrame wall hanging or any other macrame project you want to attach the rose knots to. So what we're going to do is repeat this several times in several different colors and cord lengths at minimum of 30 centimeters long for a small rose knot and then you can go as big as 150 centimeter long strand of cord to make a large rose knot. So I'm going to show you guys several different sized rose knots that I'm going to attach onto the center diamond of the pattern. And we're going to fill up the space, the top half of the diamond first. So you can either attach this rose knot onto two vertical cords on the wall hanging or one single vertical cord. For the small rose knots, I'd like to just attach it onto one strand of cord, but for larger rose knots like this, I would want to attach it onto at least two cords. Making rose knots is a great way to use up a lot of your leftover scraps. So this is basically what I'm doing is I'm taking my scrap cords in different cord lengths and I'm making rose knots onto the center of the piece. So all these different color cords are from my rainbow cord line and these are recycled single strand cotton cords. And they're very easy to macrame with. If you guys are interested in these, I have a wide variety of colors and I'll post a link to these in the video description below.
continue with these macrame rose knots until you've filled up the top half of the diamond in the center. Once you've filled up the top half of the diamond with rose knots, we're going to make a diagonal row of berry knots on the left and the right side. So starting on the far left, we're going to take the third and fourth chords from the left, as well as the fifth and sixth chords from the left, and make a berry knot. Repeat on the right side. Now what we're going to do is fill up the rest of the rose knots in the diamond pattern. So now that you've made the top half of the diamond, we're going to fill the bottom half of the diamond with more rose knots. So once the center diamond is filled up with rose knots, we're going to continue with the left and right diagonal berry knot rows. Continuing on the left side with the right two chords underneath the last berry knot and then the right two chords next to it, make another diagonal berry knot. After this berry knot, we're going to continue making three more berry knots diagonally to the right.
Now repeat on the right side, mirroring what we just did on the left. Four, six diagonal berry knots from right to left. Once the right side is complete, finish off with one more berry knot in the center. To make sure that the rose knots stay put when they are hung up, take the smaller rose knots and place them a little bit on top of the larger rose knots to hold them in place. The smaller rose knots tend to be a little bit tighter so that they will hold all the other rose knots in place. Now I'm going to take some strands of cord at 30 centimeters long each and I'm going to add a little bit of fringe in between the diagonal berry knot rows on the sides. So on the left side, in between the two berry knots, there should be a little hole and if there isn't, then pull on the knots to loosen it up and then place the loop end of the 30 centimeter strand of cord and attach it onto the bottom cord using a lark's head knot. So once you have weaved it through the hole, take the loop end and weave the cord ends through. Repeat on the left side four more times and then repeat on the right side for six of these lark's head knots. Last but not least, we're going to trim the fringe. So first, I'm going to start by trimming the army green cord that we had just attached using Lark's head knots. Then we're going to trim the olive green cord right after that. Once you have trimmed them, you can brush out the fringe if you'd like to have a little bit more texture. I'm just going to comb halfway through the bottom half of the fringe.
We're going to do the same thing with the olive green cord. I'm going to cut at where the shortest cord is and then I'm going to trim it diagonally on both sides and then comb out the bottom last bit of the fringe as well. Then we're going to take one of those excess strands of olive green cord, the longest one you can find, and we're going to make two double overhand knots on both sides and then tuck the cord ends at the back to make the macrame wall hanging handle. And that is a wrap with the Macrame Eden wall hanging tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you click subscribe to stay tuned for more. And I just want to let you guys know if you want more tutorials like this, I do release an additional unique macrame pattern, tipper trick, or advanced macrame technique video tutorial onto a platform called Patreon on a weekly basis. So if you guys want more variety of tutorials to choose from or you want to learn quicker, then this might be a good alternative for you. So if you guys are interested, I'll post a link to that in the video description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.